Hey now. Hey, these are the uh, books that I picked up over the uh, past couple of weeks. We're going to start this off with uh, Incredible Hulk 141. Uh, first uh, appearance of Doc Savage. Man, this is uh, this is a man really, really terrific condition book. This is um, when I bought it. Uh, it was marked as very fine, and it most certainly is. Look at this uh, sharp corners. Uh, maybe like a little, you know, like a little weird thing going on right here but other than that this is beautiful I'd probably give this a a very fine plus to near mint minus I mean just really beautiful I think this is uh, my pick of the week this week this is really really nice and probably one of my favorite Hulk covers probably one of the best Hulk covers out there I think just just colorful and fun and you know it's a lot going on with it so like real 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 uh happy to have this like i've been looking for this for a long time especially in a nice high grade like this this is just i can't say enough about it so thumbs up all right pick of the week right there all right ooh another nice High grade book, uh, Tales to Astonish, number ninety, the first appearance of uh, Abomination. Um, again, um, probably this one is in outright very fine shape. You know, um, again sharp corners like right here and here. You know, like a little maybe a little funky thing going on. Very 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 minimal. Um, uh, creasing along the spine. Uh, again, I was been looking for this for you know probably past I don't know how maybe month or something like that. So yeah, real happy to get this. Mm. Mm -hmm. Hey, this is nice. Do you see me in the reflection? Hey. Hell yeah. Beautiful looking book. First appearance of Abomination. Or A-Bomb, as he's known in the uh, Hulk cartoon. Um, is that is that is that show any good? I've never seen it. I haven't seen it yet. Okay. Uh, let's, let's do this. Let's keep moving. I'll tell you what. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you what he looks like. Screw it. Ages on this. This is really beautiful. Here we go. The Abomination. Alright. I like being able to show you guys the uh, inside pages every once in a while. So here we go. That's him. I'm looking for a uh, number 91 too. A nice uh, at a, with a real at a real decent grade. That's the first uh, cover appearance. Okay. Let's keep moving. Let's keep moving. Let's keep moving. Okay. Uh Tales of Suspense. Number 52. Now this would have been my outright pick of the week. Look at this. Um, when I bought it online, it was marked as uh, very good condition. And when I bought it, I mean, and when I received it, I'm like, wow, this thing is beautiful. This thing is at least in fine plus, plus condition. This thing is really nice. Look at the corners on this. Now, 
again, this would have been my out first appearance of the Black Widow, mind you. This is a book I've been looking for for at least a year. All right, I have never, I have never seen this book offered for sale, um, it, it, with the exception of eBay. Okay, so, um, wow, really happy to have this. And again, this would have been my outright pick of the week, but when I got it, I noticed that the cover was um, detached from the spine at the bottom staple so the basically the the staple popped at the bottom staple oh my god um so that's why it's in very good shape um but and that's one of my little pet peeves too um i'll definitely hold on to this i paid like less than 50 dollars for it so a little bit less than 50 for it so um Again, it's a major first appearance, and but I'm still waiting to be able to upgrade to one with the that's more complete because it feels incomplete to me. All right, so all right, here we go with Iron Man number seven. Um, another, yeah, I think this is in very good shape. Um, first appearance of the Gladiator. Um, I think just kind of got a little, kind of like a little funky thing going on d up down there. Other than that, beautiful. Looks good. So, nice, real deep color going on. So, hell yeah. All right. Let's keep this moving. Uh, Creatures on the Loose, number 10. Now this right here is the first appearance of uh, Cole the Conqueror. Um, I, when I was at the shop, at the comic book shop, um, they, there was like three different copies to choose from. And uh, so I picked out the best one. This is probably in uh, very fine shape. Um, when I took it up to the counter because it didn't have a price on it, I'm like, I'm not paying more than ten dollars for it. And uh the guy he he comes back with a price like nine bucks. I'm like, hell yeah. So again, uh this is in very fine shape, just really, 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 really nice looking book. Glad to have it. Again, this is a book I've been looking for for at least a a couple of months. So I'm glad to scratch that off the list. In a terrific cover too. Real nice looking cover. Uh Nice. All right. Uh, Captain America 208, first appearance of Armin Zola. Now, this is, um, this is a villain. You know what? Come on. Shoot. Darn it. Let's bring this video to a halt, damn it. Here's Armin Zola, this guy right here. Where are you at? 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 Here you go. This guy, first appearance. Now, I remember him from the uh, Ed Brubaker run of Daredevil. Um, he was a really, really major player um, during uh, Ed Brubaker's run. So, that's how I know him. And that's how, that's how I know him and I love him. So, glad to have this first appearance of a, uh, you know, of a Captain America bad guy. Hell yeah. All right. Oh shoot. Let's keep moving. Let's keep moving. Let's keep moving. Okay. Um, Incredible Hulk, number two thirty-two. Um, this was on my list for some reason. I'm not quite sure why. Like I read the issue, and you know, nothing major happens. I mean, it's a cool cover. You know, have, has Cap on it, but it was on my list. I'm not quite sure why, but I bought it anyway. It was like three bucks. So I'm like, okay. All right. Avengers number one, um, rem new actually new Avengers from number no number one from uh, the two thousand four series. Remember when uh, the first six issues were uh, of New Avengers were these images cut out? Well, this is the um, cover that collects all uh, all six of those images. This is really cool looking. It's not worth anything. It's, it's worth like you know two or three bucks. That's how much I paid for it, but man, I love, 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 love this cover. 
All right. Here we go with uh, Superman, Man of Steel, number 17. Uh, first appearance of Dark Side. This is a popular book. Okay, I, I'm like, what, when the hell did this get popular? Um, first cameo appearance appearance of Dark Side, where he's like, you can see he's like this. He's going bah, 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 in like a couple of panels. That's about it. So it, this is like a fifteen dollar book, you know. Um, that's how much. It, that's how much it's going for at least on uh, eBay. And uh, I got this for like five bucks, so really happy to find that book. And it's really, and it's tough to find too. I know it's because I've looked for it at comic book shops and and even online, and just not not around, not available. Okay, and I upgraded my copy of uh, Action Comics 471, first appearance of that chick, Feora. That's her. That's her name, right? Okay. All right. Uh, let's. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh, okay. The Man Called Nova, number four. Um, the run of Nova is relatively easy to find, with the exception of number one and number four. Uh, this has a, a, a Thor appearance, so um, it's it's a cheap book, but it's still you know like a little bit a little bit tough to find. Just a little bit, just. A, all right, we're keeping it moving with. I tell you what, let's let's go with Mark Spector Moon Knight number fifty-five. Really, this is a book I've been again a book another book that I've been looking for for at least a year. Now I've seen you know copies available, but you know they wanted twenty and thirty bucks, and I paid like a little under three dollars for this one. Mark Spector Moon Knight number fifty-five. Got this for under three dollars um this is like a you know like a little, little little modern key issue um steven it begins the uh steven platt please steven platt art it's popular because of that you know it's you know okay all right but really happy to have this book thrilled right now i'm thrilled to show it off they'll be able to show it off love this book love this book okay uh here we go with New Mutants number thirteen, uh, first appearance of Doug Ramsey. Um, I'll pick up, you know, first appearances of uh, New Mutants characters, but they gotta have the new. It has to be the new stand variant. Has to be. Ghost Rider number one, volume two. Oh, this is a book I definitely been looking for. When I was at the uh, comic shop, um, the guy he brought in the owner. He bought in like a stack of books for uh, one of his employees to process you know i'm like oh oh let me let me look let me take a look at that. how much you want for that homie and uh he's like uh five bucks and i'm like bet this thing is really nice it's probably in you know very fine plus 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 shape you know like maybe a little couple of you know maybe a ding or two across the spine but along the spine but really really nice looking and we're gonna end things with my co my co uh pick of the week savage tales number one first appearance of the man thing another book that i've been looking for for probably about a year and um yeah really 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 happy to have this you know what look at the cover Take in the cover. Do you want to see the first appearance of Man Thing? Do you want to see my Man Thing? I'm sure you do. Now, I got this book. This book was marked as fine. I paid like about, you know, I think a little, I think around 47 bucks, a little under $50 for this. Worth every penny. And the difference, and I could have bought a very fine copy, but the difference between a very fine and a fine it was like a hundred bucks. So I'm like, you know what? Let me stick with this fine copy. Uh, I did, did. Did I tell you how much I love uh, Marvel magazines from the 70s? I'm running out of time here. So let's get to Man Thing real fast if I can find him. Where are you, buddy? Can I find you? Am I going to be able to find you with uh, like a few seconds remaining? Here we go. First appearance of Man-Thing. Nice. Okay, I have five seconds left. 
Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.